Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome back to RimWorld. My name, of course, is Albert Potato. Uh, as you can probably see, and that's uh, why I paused the game, we're getting we're getting notifications like it's no tomorrow about the the status of of Sergeant Toast. Yeah, we're uh, we're a little bit worried for this guy, as you can probably uh, probably see. Yeah, I don't think we were prepared for winter in the manner of that which we should be prepared. Yeah, I think we need a lot more heaters around the place. Yeah, I think we need to build more heaters. Okay, well, I guess the first thing to do is... I guess the first thing to do is... Get laced... No, in fact... We can place down another heater. Let's place a heater in here. Uh, for now. There we go, that should be fine. Uh, we've got enough materials to build another two of these things, or this thing and another one, uh, should I say. There is snow around, which is worrying, actually. Um, also, in here, we're going to need a heater, because otherwise we're just not going to manage. So, yeah. Really, really worrying, the way things are going. Where are you going? Okay, mining is cancelled. Don't touch. Do not touch. Do not even leave the house. We're going to toggle that as locked. Critical alert hypothermia. I'm, I'm fucking trying to solve this as much as I can. Okay, vents in place now. That's good. That should allow air to pass freely through it. You shouldn't be that cold now, buddy. Indoors, we've got one degrees. That is fairly cold. That is fairly fucking cold. What is the target temperature? 21. Yeah, alright, so... Okay, 17 degrees. You should be fine. You should be fine now. Okay, uh, we're gonna start... Okay. Wow, Sergeant Toast, you're you're up and running. That's fantastic news. That is really good news. Um, what do we do? What do we do? Um, we're gonna have to get some more vents set up. Some more vents set up here, perhaps. Here. And here. And here, perhaps? Yeah, maybe that'll work. Uh, we'll cancel that one, and we'll cancel this one. Okay, but at least Sergeant Toast is, is back on his feet now. I mean, we're starting to get decent temperatures indoors. Uh, we've got 8 degrees Celsius, which is nice. It's not a lot, but it's at least better than what we had. Four construction materials are missing. Uh, some steel. Yeah, that's worrying. That's really, really worrying. Okay, Ben, you can get to work on the research. Uh, I think... <sighs> what do we want? You know what? Machining is going to come in really, really handy. So let's let's do that. Let's do that right now. And four construction materials are missing. So that is, uh, that is slightly worrying. Sergeant Toast, you okay up there, buddy? Yeah, I hope you're okay. Relaxing socially. I hope you're... I hope you're... Yeah, you lost some stuff to frostbite, but that's okay. That's okay. You're 43 years old. You can take a little bit of a chill pill right now, as far as I'm concerned. Okay. So the target temperature in here is 3 degrees. I wish we could utilize this extra heat, but alas, I do not think that is possible. I do not think that is possible. Uh, I think we will have enough food to last us throughout the winter. I think that, that is that is great. I think that's good. Uh, oh, God. Jeez. What are you... Go to bed. Go to bed, buddy. There we go. Go to sleep. Go to sleep in your nice warm room that was specifically built for you. I mean, it's minus one degrees in here, but it's 18, 21 degrees in here, so that's, that's really nice. Uh, let's crank down that. Let's crank it down to 13 degrees so that we can save some, uh, some power. Laystrat, what are you doing? You're having some private time. I'm okay with that. Grumpage, you are praying. That's awesome. I'm not bothered. Sergeant Toast, it is a little bit chilly out here in the mornings, but, uh, you know, it's a big room to fill, so not surprised. A slave trader. Okay, let's, uh, let's... Ben, do me a favor. Go call the slave trader. See if we can get ourselves a slave. 
see if we can get ourselves a slave. Wow. It's a lot of money. It's a lot of money. And we need medicine. We honestly need medicine. Um, and honestly, I think... Uh, you're good at fighting and stuff, but I don't want somebody that's good at fighting. I want somebody that's just decent at, at doing normal people stuff. And you're not really that guy. Uh, we are going to... We are going to accept medicine, though. Medicine is something that I'm very interested in doing. Um, it's something we need, you know? So, alas, we've got to do it. And we are missing materials for construction, which is a crying shame. Laystrat, I want you to go and... get this piece of steel, alright? Laystrat. No, just Laystrat. Just Laystrat. There we go. I want you to prioritize this piece of steel. Ah, no, I know. The door's locked. Uh, so let's unlock the door. Laystrat. Where are you going? Hauling medicine supplies to stockpile. Nope. You are going to go... Steel is reserved by Grumpage. Grumpage! Ah! Okay, you're being drafted. You go down here, prioritize hauling the steel. Okay, Ben, where are you going? Cleaning, clean, fuck off, don't clean dirt. I want you to stay in here. Okay, so I think opening the door might have an adverse effect. You're hauling medicine, no, you're being drafted, stay in here. Watching for targets, yeah, that's fine. Okay, so we're basically just waiting for Laystrat to get back with this steel. Because it's important, this steel. It's really, really important. Sergeant, Sergeant Toast, you're you're the most vulnerable to hypothermia. Oh, jeez Louise. Well, I suppose let's take everybody off. Uh, let's take everybody off draft for, uh, for a minute or so. And at the end of today, we'll go back inside. Okay. Uh, we've got 35 steel. It's not a lot, but uh, but it'll do. And this is going to heat up two more rooms, which is lovely. Uh, with the steel that we've got here. Veronica, when you get inside, then I am closing off the door and locking it. I would appreciate if you actually came back inside, because it is mighty cold out there. Mighty, mighty cold. It's only 9 degrees inside, and that, that would still be pretty cold. Why are you going to fix things right now? Literally minus 7 degrees. Oh my goodness. I don't know. I don't understand. Well, whatever the case. It's going to be nice and warm indoors. So just get in there. Just get in there. We can lock the door up. I mean, we have, we have the supplies to effectively stay... To stay safe for winter. I mean... We do have the supplies to do that. Okay, good. Everybody's asleep. Everybody's fine. That's great. Let's go three times speed. And let's also lock the door. Toggle locked. Uh, how are we doing for power? Power is going to be a real issue. Uh, you can designate power there, designate power there. Yeah, because we don't need it. If we're not growing anything, then that's fine. Uh, of course, it's not really important if we, if we do power them. And I think it'll be good if we can save power on on these lights during winter. I mean, we've, we've got a ridiculous amount of potatoes. If we actually do need to start growing potatoes or berries again, uh, you know, that's fine. It's not ideal, but hey-ho. Uh, four colonists are idle. I want to start mining again, but I feel that that might be... That's marble up there. I feel mining right now may be unbelievably fucking stupid like I would love to get an extra couple of heaters but you know what let's let's give it a shot let's give it a shot right let's mine two pieces and hopefully by the end of today we can uh, we can have mined a little bit although maybe not slave trader has left calm range ah it's because it's because the door is locked okay that makes sense that makes perfect sense. Um, well, I guess we're not gonna. I guess we're not gonna go and mine today. Then I guess we'll do a bit of mining tomorrow. 
uh, try and fix up everything that we've got just lying around. I mean, temperature indoors is 9 degrees, that's fine. And in Leistrat's room, it's like 13 degrees. But that's what we've set it as anyway, so that's fine. Uh, in here, it's 8 degrees, that's awesome. And what's the target temperature for this? The target temperature for this area might be 21. Yes, it is 21, that's fine. Okay, good. So honestly, uh, all in all, very, very happy with the way things are going. Leistrat, you're, you're taking food over that's fine that's that's good uh, I know everybody's gonna get a little bit annoyed because they're all trapped inside here had an unpleasant chat well I'm sure you'll have a lot more unpleasant chats for a long time to come I'm afraid but you know that's the way life is where's our last colonist where's our last colonist Ben he's up he's up researching okay that's fair enough okay three times speed Indoors, that's 12 degrees in here, that's okay. You're okay, you're you're healthy, it looks like most of your, most of your, uh, your manipulation is weakened, probably because you lost a right index finger and your right thumb. So, that is less than ideal, but you know what, you, you gotta make do with what you've got. You gotta make do with what you've got, unfortunately. You're praying, you're probably praying that you don't lose more fingers or whatever. That's fine. Okay, so today... The door is going to be unlocked. So everybody is going to have the opportunity to go outside and get some mining done. That would be super, super handy. You're praying. You're, you've got a pump shotgun as well. So that's kind of nice, I suppose. Uh, well, at least at least the food stores for longer. At least the food stores for longer. It's frozen, which is nice. Uh, Veronica, you're heading down here to mine. That's awesome. Uh, and hopefully, 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 hopefully... We can uh, we can get enough materials to build another heater or something, because that would be great. That would be really really good if we could do that. So really looking forward to the possibility of uh, of getting a new heater. And I don't know where we're gonna place it. I'm more I'm more worried about the vents. The vents are um, the vents are just something that we need to do. You know, it's just one of those things. Already constructing vent building. Okay, well, I suppose you're gonna go and haul this oh yeah victoria you are you are not a hauler so that makes sense that makes perfect sense actually why you're not hauling things so of course you send out the guy the only guy in the place that suffered hypothermia you send him out to go and do the hauling of course you you heartless son of a bitch um but hey ho you know that's all right everybody's wandering around okay sergeant toast Good, 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 good. Vents are up and running. Eight degrees. Let's uh, bump the temperature up a little bit, just because we can. And now, all of the vents should be connecting here. Which means that we should see temperatures rise up. Not, you know, not super high. But, but high enough. High enough, I think. Vent. That's going to cost us 30 steel. I don't think we have another 30 steel. Yeah, okay. You know what? That's not too shabby. Everybody get in bed. And everybody go to sleep. Nice. Okay, so happy with the day's work. It's not bad. The temperature is fluctuating around 13 degrees Celsius. But it's only Sergeant Toast. Uh, Sergeant Toast? Uh, Sergeant Coast? Sergeant, Sergeant Toast. It's only Sergeant Toast that can't handle the heat. So I'm fine with that. Everything is going, is going great. Uh, and really, we cannot complain about very much. Uh, the door is going to be toggle locked. We don't want to upset anybody. That's great. In fact, you know what? Let's toggle unlocked and uh, and let's pause it and set some stuff to be mined. We're going to set three things to be mined today. So a fair bit of stuff to be uh, to be getting on with. Gold. Uh, yeah, I feel that this is going to be the place for gold. Raw resources gold and you what uranium what well that's fine then um we'll take gold out of there so we're gonna move gold around to over here that's fine a bulk goods trader well actually ben i would like you to call them up see what you can find is there anything of interest that we can really get i suppose we could sell of our sell our gold we will have gold to sell very, very soon indeed. 
Uh, package survival meal. There's not really anything that we want here, to be honest. I mean, there's chocolate. But that's about it. There's beer. I mean, that's kind of nice, but not really. Uh, well, yeah, hopefully we'll be able to sell our, sell our gold or something. Maybe that'll work. Okay, so we will get... We, we sell it and we get 137 silver. That's, that's such a rip-off. I mean, look at how much they're ripping us off. We have... Yeah, we're paying £10 for it, or $10 for it, and they're only giving us less than $4. For this item, this price is very cheap. I thought so. Uh, okay, try calling Cook's Forest. Ugh. No, we don't, we don't have enough for a gift, so... And I don't know what to do in that situation anyway, so... Though that bulk goods trader is not something that we're interested in at all. If they're going to give us such a shitty price, then I'm I'm not entertaining that possibility. Grumpage. Sergeant Toast. How far are you through this, this compacted steel? Not very far. So finish the compacted steel and... Steel is reserved by, Ver by Veronica. Veronica, you're drafted. Grumpage is not a hauler. Oh, well that fucking explains it, doesn't it? Okay, Veronica, you're undrafted. Congratulations, you were drafted, then undrafted in quick succession. We've got three idle colonists. And it's 7 o'clock at night, so that's kind of worrying that people are still outside doing stuff. And it's going to take Grumpage literally forever. I would not be surprised in the slightest if Veronica got back before Grumpage did. Veronica could probably get here and back in the time that it takes Grumpage literally to go one way. So... That's ridiculous, and yeah, Grumpage is very, very slow, but that's okay, that's okay. We forgive her, she's old, whatever, that's life. So we've still got temperatures of 8 or 9 degrees, sometimes five or six, 4 or 5 or 6 degrees in, uh, in here where it's far away from the, uh, from the heater, but that's okay, that's okay. At least the temperature is highest in Sergeant Toast's room because he really does not have an affinity for staying warm. I bet you're cold. I bet you're cold, Grumpage. I bet you're cold. You do have a, a deer hide button down shirt. And yeah, you've got a whole lot of nothing, I'm afraid. You're wandering. Go to bed. Go no wonder you're fucking tired in the morning. It's 4 a.m. Oh well. Well, you know, winter has come. This is winter. This is hard snow. We're we're in full force. This is winter, ladies and gents. And uh, you know what we're just managing to scrape by with electricity wise don't seem to be having too much of a problem in that regard. Um I think I'd like to try and get a heater set up in here. 65. It's a lot of it's a lot of steel to commit to uh, to a heater in there. But, um, we'll try and give it a shot. Okay, we want to up it by a lot. We want to aim for quite a high temperature. Power usage high. Yeah, we want to go for as high as we can because we know we're not going to get there. So, let's just crank out as much heat as we possibly can. Okay, we're managing three degrees in this room. That's not very good. Not very good if we want to actually grow some crops, which is kind of what we want to do. Four degrees, that's not too shabby. That's not too shabby at all. Uh, is there anything that we can deconstruct? Is there anything that we can deconstruct for steel? I'm not entirely sure if there is. It's probably absolutely freezing in that medical area over there. Yeah, oh well. Uh, let's let's think. Planting area. Planting area, zones, growing zones. Growing zone here. Great. And what do we want to grow in this growing zone? Potato plants. I don't think we really want to grow potato plants. I think we want to, to do strawberry plants, don't we? Yeah. Well, let's try that. Okay. Uh, what? What what what's happening? 
A scyther? A what? Oh, sugar. Sugar, sugar, sugar. Okay, Sergeant Toast, you're drafted. Get out here. Okay, uh, unlocked. Go here. Yeah, this is this is worrying. Okay, Laystrat. Where you at, bro? Drafted. I want you to go here. Okay, yeah, just go here, actually, in fact. Yeah, we need mortars. Ben, when can we get mortars? Okay, yeah, fire him down. Calm this fuck off! Oh, come on, Sergeant Toast just managed to hit him. Okay, get there. Fuck! 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 What the shit? What the... What the shit, man? Shit! Oh, duh. I... I... Uh... It's, uh, I don't even know what to say. Injured. Oh, God. Shit. Shit, 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 shit. We're gonna have to go for a reload in the next episode, ladies and gentlemen. We can't, we can't afford a loss of a colonist. That is just... And such a good one at that. Like, one of our best, without a doubt. I guess we need to go for mortars then. I guess we machining is good, but I guess mortars is going to be the priority for the near future. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very, very much for watching. My name, of course, has been Obed Potato. I hope you join me next time for some more of the winter wonderland that is RimWorld at the moment. And, uh, and yeah, we'll try and resurrect that colonist through the, through the magical use of autosaves. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.